Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We've come to Luke chapter 15. Let's go ahead and go to it. First of all, verses 1 and 2 this morning. Then all the tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. And then he's going to tell them a parable we'll get into tomorrow morning. But let's start with this. Here, look at look at who's coming. Look who's listening to the teaching of Jesus. The tax collectors and sinners. I mean, what a group. You know, they say the what? A, a bad dog, you know, a, a, it attracts fleas. Well, here's Jesus, you know, he's attracting the fleas. It's the tax collectors. It's the IRS people. It's the it's the, the wicked sinners, you know, the, the not the holy, super holy Jewish people. And uh, they all drew near to him. Why did they come close to Jesus? Well, verse 1 tells us they, they're coming up close. They're getting up in close. Why? Because they want to hear him. Jesus is saying things. We've, we've been after it here for 14 chapters. And now as we see Jesus' ministry continuing across the way, uh, the word has gone out. People have heard. He is teaching things that we've never heard before. We've never even imagined before. And it makes a lot of sense and so the people are drawn to him. They're actually coming to him. And it's, this is not like, you know, oh, it's an easy ride. It's 15 minutes, an air-conditioned car. These people are walking and taking mules and uh, whatever it takes to get there. And so they draw near to Jesus. They want to hear what he has to say. And now the reaction, look at the Pharisees here. The Pharisees and scribes complain. They're looking at who is Jesus attracting. Jesus isn't attracting you know, the holy people, Jesus is up here attracting these, these heathen. These, these, are, these are Roman collaborators. I mean, this, Jesus must be bad because he's attracting the bad people. Well, friends, guess what? We're all bad people. We've all sinned and come short of God's glory. We all need salvation through Jesus. We're not holier than somebody else because what? Because we kept a few more of the commandments than somebody else or because we we did some good deeds or something or we've read more Bible verses than somebody else? I mean, come on. All of us are in the same boat. We're all beggars that need to, to find the bread and, and, and we're going to point people to Jesus. He's the only one with the bread. He's the bread of life. So here what we have is just as we begin to look at this section here, we're going to look at three lost things. And uh, But what we have at the beginning is, hey, pay attention to this fact. There are people who want to know what Jesus has to say. There are people who have heard about it, and they're here to hear more. They want to hear more. And there's people in our world today, here in the 2020s, who want to hear more. If they could hear a little bit of what God actually teaches, they would want to hear more. So you and I, what's part of our business? Our part of our business is to help them know what God teaches so that they will want to hear more, so that they'll draw near to him, to hear him. And they can hear him, uh, if we are faithful, they'll hear him through us. The Pharisees and the scribes and the complainers, the moaners and the complainers, uh, oh well. The very fact that these, these uh, higher spiritual people, the more spiritual people in town are, are looking down on Jesus and moaning and complaining because he, he receives sinners and eats with them. That should tell us there's something wrong in their experience. Jesus is attracting everyone. Uh, and these people are turned off because they're the elites, you know, they're the spiritual elites. They're the spiritual rulers. And who is this guy again? Well, he's the son of God. Thank you very much. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us, help us to, to take a lesson from Jesus. His teaching was so remarkable so different from the mainstream, the common things, that the people that were looked down upon the most actually came to him to hear him. So help us, Lord, to be giving a message that's that's like that, that's led by your Holy Spirit, that, that people can hear, you know, not bending the truth, not not cutting cutting corners on the truth, being absolutely straight, Lord, but but please help us to to give the truth in a winning way, and we know you'll help us by your Holy Spirit. Bless, we pray, as we present Jesus. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, don't worry if the Pharisees and the scribes are out there uh, sticking their nose in the air and, and moaning and complaining. and uh, Don't worry about that. But let's see what does God's word say. He'll take it all from there. God bless you today and all that you do.